So this is James Com, the guy on the bike, and we're out here at Bushwick at Storefront. And we're gonna talk to James Pinero, who has just created a show here, and it's the John... Joe Bonham Project. Joe Bonham Project. Well, let's take a little walk around the gallery and you can explain about the show. Okay, come on in. Now, this, uh, it opened the weekend before 9-11, is that correct? That's right, it's open on September 1st. And uh, it's closing today, September 18. And it's a it's a 9/11 show in a way. Um, the work is um, well, it's portraits of um, U.S. service personnel undergoing rehabilitation. And the work operates on a couple different levels that interested me. First is journalistic. I wanted to draw attention to the fact that since 9/11. Over 44,000 U.S. service personnel have been injured in combat. So 9-11 has really been a decade-long day for them, and I wanted to make that point. The second is that this work, I think, is very therapeutic. The artists, uh, some of them are from the military, some are civilian, but uh, they all have close relationships with the uh, subjects they're depicting. And they titled uh, the project, the Joe Bonham Project, after a character from Johnny Got His Gun, which is a Dalton Trumbo novel about someone who, a soldier from World War One, is so injured he can't communicate with the outside world. Okay, let's take a look at some of these uh, up close. So, this is um, Rob Bates. He's actually. I think a, I met. He was at the. He's opening. a corporal. Yeah, he's he was here in his corporal. Marine Corps uniform. And he came up. Uh, never been to New York before. He's also self-taught. He's an amazing artist. And he. Um, he knows some of these soldiers that he's depicting, actually the, the Marines are not technically soldiers. Right. And uh, he, did he also serve in uh, Iraq or Afghanistan he himself? Af he was in Afghanistan himself. He was in Afghanistan. And I think it's nice, he's got these little uh, blocks of text in here. This is part of Goes Physical Therapy at Bethesda Naval Hospital. He's doing sets of 10 using seven and five pound leg weights. This is part of the tradition of uh, this style of art. Um, the Marines have, an, have had a position of an in-house artist, um, and Mike Fay has had that position for many years. Mike Fay founded the Joe Bonham Project. So this is illustration. They, the artists often put the descriptions of what happened to the um, right to the troops, how they got injured, and yeah. this is Roman. Jen. Roman Ginn. Roman Ginn. He's known to some people because he's an illustrator for National Review magazine. And he was, he's not in the military, but he was a, an embedded journalist um, with this soldier in Afghanistan. Victor is a very well known illustrator. He does political illustrations, also child book illustrations. And uh, this soldier, you know, one thing I want to say about the project that's been nice for me is. It's allowed me to um, learn about um, the troops depicted here and to look up and understand the stories and have a connection with them. Uh, this is Sergeant Jason Ross, who was uh, part of the bomb squad, a little bit like... Um, uh, Hurt Locker. Hurt Locker, which actually I heard he didn't like. But he was uh, <laughs> one of those guys in Afghanistan defusing bombs. You know, um, I came out here during the opening and um, I was thinking about doing some uh, recording then, but uh, I really kind of got the feeling that um, this is not like your regular celebratory art opening, that there was, there's a certain kind of uh, solemnness to this, and uh, that's why I decided to come back and just uh, do a little walkthrough with you and sort of make maybe take a little more time and uh, look at this in a little more um, serious way. Tell us about this piece, this painting. Well, this is actually the only painting in the show. And uh, Bill Harris is a painter from uh, Virginia. Um, the uh, soldier depicted is in several of the other works. And unfortunately, I think when they approached him, what, what's nice about this work is most of it's done bedside. And I understand that when they approached him, he was quite out of it. Couldn't really interact and tell his story, unfortunately. Well, now we're going to take a look in the back room at some of the works by Michael D. Fay. Now, are you saying that Michael 
organized this? The Joe Bonham project is his idea. That's his idea. And um, he's the one who's brought all the artists together to do this. It's, it's a wonderful idea. And he is a former Marine, is that not true? That's right. I guess you're never a former Marine. Once you're in the Marines, you're always a Marine, but... Uh, yeah, I met him at the night of the opening as well. That's right, he came out for that. And is he a uh, academically trained artist himself? Actually, or is he self-taught? I, um, I think he's taking some training, but he actually is getting, I believe, an MFA right now in Hartford after all this time. Yeah. And this is a work actually by an Australian who uh, is a, an artist with the Australian military, Andrew Martin. This is Kyle Carpenter, um, a soldier who appears in a number of the works. Yes, I can who, um, recognize him. Yeah, he, uh, in Afghanistan, I, a, a grenade exploded and uh, took out much of his face. He absorbed 99% of the impact um, and his jaw had to be totally reconstructed. The scars that you see here are actually um, uh, the gunpowder residue that burned and tattooed into his face and it can't be removed because it's still uh, explosive lost his eye as well, and he often wears a purple heart on his eye. That's Kyle's purple heart. All right. So you're by Richard Johnson. Now, have you had a chance to go down and uh, meet any of these uh, recovering soldiers yourself? Or uh, I haven't, but um, I'm actually Facebook friends with some of them now. So. You know, uh, the New York art world is not really known as a uh, very conservative place. Uh, have you found that there's been any kind of a, kind of a political reaction to this? No, I think the reaction's been an entirely positive reaction. Uh, I think the artists in Bushwick were really appreciative to meet this other artist community and, and to, uh, to make connections to their work, to, this, to the uh, subject matter in their work. Uh, Mike Fay also makes a point of saying this is not a political show, it's not political art, they're not trying to make a political point. This is really a personal show about their brothers. Yeah, it's a very um, humane, uh, kind of personal and individual uh, subject matter. I think this guy, Jeffrey Fisher, is also quite an accomplished uh, artist. You know, he's got some great uh, technical chops there. He's very good. Huh? Well, Jeff Fisher comes from the Society of Illustrators and one thing that's nice about what Mike Fay has done in putting together this group of artists is he's taking artists from the military and civilian life and brought them together on a single project. I think these are some etchings. Yeah. All right. Beautifully done. Okay, well, we'll wrap up with these two pieces here. Thanks for coming, and thank you, Storefront, and uh, Jason, Andrew, Debbie Brown, for allowing me to guest curate this show. And thank you, Bushwick. Thank you, artists, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, well, thanks, James Pernero, and uh, we're gonna keep our eyes open and uh, look for your writing, and also maybe some of the other uh, projects we'll have coming up in the future. And thanks, Kate.